Well, it's been a violent start to the new year here in Prince George's County. There have been five murders in the, f in the first five days of 2011. The latest involves a shooting that killed one and injured three late last night. Joining us to tell us more is CTV's Marquette Smith. This latest slaying claimed the life of a teenager just 19 years old. Now, it happened yesterday just before midnight in the 4,000 block of Norcross Street in Temple Hills. Now, today, here at police headquarters in Prince George's County, investigators say they believe the crime may be drug-related. Clearly, there was a drug nexus. One, two, three, four, Five murders in five days. The latest one, along with the others, all suspected to be in connection with the dealing of illegal substances. Uh, on Crawford Place, the, there was a large quantity of drugs taken out of that residence. Uh, clearly a drug connection with, uh, with uh, Crawford. May have been a, a drug connection with Bexley. We're still looking at Norcross, the one this morning, to see if there was a drug connection there. Meanwhile, at the scene of the latest crime, neighbors say while it may look quiet during the day, it's a different story at night. People hide in the dark. I mean, you know, a lot of darkness is covered up with darkness. Tell me about the, the activity that goes on. You know, this, this was a shocking to us. You know, we heard the shots. Um, you know, of course, we didn't look out the window because we didn't know what was going on. Police say what was going on may have been a drug-related robbery that killed one teenager and left three others injured. Really, the last five days, especially the last 48 hours, have been um, a challenge to this community and to this department. Uh, these homicides have our full attention. Like I said, every level of the police department, from the very top to the patrol officer on the beat, Everyone is tied into what's going on and what the effort is so we can have a unified effort um, from a police department standpoint to stop uh, this cycle of violence. Now in this latest slaying and the four others that occurred during this, the first week of 2011, police say they are not random cases. All of the victims knew the suspects. Now they also say that they all occurred in District 4 of the county. So right now police are working to increase their presence in that area. In Palmer Park, I'm Marquette Smith, CTV News. And police are asking anyone with information on these crimes to call their anonymous tip line at 1-866-411-TIPS.